<laughs> Valentine's Day is back upon us again, and with it this year, we've got a fun little simulator um, for you guys to enjoy. Um, joining me again is Matteo. Say hi, Matteo. Hello. And uh, we're taking a look at table manners. Uh, we've generously been given a beta key for it by Curve Digital, the publishers, um, and we thought we'd share a little bit of our thoughts um, about it with you. Uh, so yeah, why don't you roll the footage? Yeah. So straight off the bat, um, Table Manners is a sort of surgeon simulator type yeah. uh, game where you're essentially controlling one hand and taking people on dates um, and just allowing hilarity to ensue. Yeah, it does sound very very bad if you describe it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no, I mean it's the perfect uh, game to play at, at Valentine's Day. I mean it's uh, it's very upbeat. You just get, as you can see, you you use an app that looks very similar to the Bumbler or, or Tinder or Tinder. Blunder, they call it. Oh yeah, Blunder is the name. <laughs> okay, so that you choose, uh, you know, like a partner, a potential partner, and then you try to chat with the person and try to get a date with it. Yeah, I mean, you can you can go through various levels. There's various locations where you can take your dates to. Uh, we're just going to be showing sort of uh, the first level, um, which you can uh, access straight off the bat when you start the game. The meet up is called, right? Yeah, the meet up. That's <laughs> yeah, the one. Yeah, that's very clever. And yeah. you can see um, this is my gameplay footage, by the way. So you can see me being incredibly picky about um, who I like to, to to take on my dates. Yeah, you took your time. You took your time man. <laughs> now it's there important. are settings within the app where you can change uh, whether you want to only um, take uh, males or females on dates. Yeah. Um, um, or both, as I've got it set to at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, once you're happy with someone, you can either spend some time uh, chatting with them, or as the tutorial is prompting me there, just go straight into uh, the, the, the first level and start your date. Yeah. As you can see, depending on how you will behave at the, um, at the date, you will get a different score. Obviously, probably getting better scores will unlock new locations and potentially new options and new partners. This is the just the first level that serves like a sort of a tutorial of sorts. Yeah. So, um, sorry, so can you please explain us how does it work exactly in terms of the controls? Because now we're seeing you just moving your hand awkwardly around the place. So it is a bit weird because you're using you're using two of your hands to control one hand. So it is a little bit weird at first. Um, essentially, you've got your mouse, which controls the x-axis movements, so okay. forward, backwards, left and right. Uh, w and S, which is your y-axis movements, up and down. And then you can rotate the hand and the wrist uh, by holding down the right um, right mouse button. Uh, and then you, use, you hold down the left mouse button to grab things. As I'm doing there, you can see with the, uh, the bottle of wine. Yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, uh, your partner will ask you to, you know, like to fulfill a series of tasks. Oh, they're very picky. Yeah. You have to do everything yeah. for them. Pour their drink for them, salt their food, actually put sauce feed on them. Their... Yeah, <laughs> actually feed them at one point as well. It, it, it's kind of hilarious. Like, good job with the pouring there. <laughs> it was pretty solid. Now, the, the first one's always an easy one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beginner's yeah. luck, probably. But then, as you can see, just throw it straight over. That is actually a helpful tip. Once you're finished with something in this game, don't bother trying to put it down neatly again. Just throw it to the side, get rid of it, and move on. Um, also, the bottomless, uh, bottomless wine bottles are really interesting in this game. Like, it keeps on pouring. I, I want one of those. If I can, you can cut, you can find one. Just please tell me. <laughs> now, every level is scored um, in terms of hearts. So I think you, it'll show you on each level how many hearts you need to unlock the next level. But the maximum you can get per level is three. Yeah. Um, and that is essentially if you complete all the tasks that appear there on the top left, then you will get three hearts. It's not too sort of finickety about, you know, if you've thrown something at them or yeah, poured wine yeah, yeah, yeah. all over them. In fact, you get achievements for things like that. I actually unlocked the achievement Lady in Red by pouring red wine all over my date. Oh, nice. But you gotta do that at first date. It's like, Absolutely. it's just tradition. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, uh, Frank is peppering the steak. Uh, it, it is ve very much a physics-based game. It looks like a game that could be could have been done in VR these days, but mm. it is not. Actually, in the actual description of the game on Steam, um, the development theme, which by the way, it's um, it's this is the debut title for a, a new uh, UK-based theme, which is called Echo Chamber. Uh, so yeah, this is the, actually the first title they're publishing through. Curve Digital, our friends are Curve Digital, which are, yeah, uh, very well known, especially in the UK, uh, in the uh, environment. So yeah, it looks like a VR game. Even our colleagues the other day, when we showed this to them, they were thinking, okay, what can we use the VR? But I think it gives it, a, like you know, a different vibe. It has to be difficult, has to be awkward. In VR, as you were mentioning to me earlier, it probably would be too easy, you know, to. Yeah, I think. I mean, if you've got controllers for hands, you can just 
especially if you've got like the the, the what's it the valve index which yeah. has the sort of the full touch controller thing you can just literally okay pick up duh, okay yeah, easy, easy done. Right? <laughs> whereas this provides you a, a bit of a challenge yeah also the depth perception is quite difficult to you know to um to to figure out in this game so like, as you can see adds, with my fantastic ketchup yeah. skills i think that's the most difficult thing other than <laughs> you know just uh, you know like just handling things so yeah, this game is, com is coming out on um, on Valentine's Day. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be a budget title, so you don't have to spend a lot of money on this, but it could be a very nice distraction, you know. Like I think it's fantastic. I mean, if if you don't have massive plans to, to take your, your your girlfriend or your wife or your date out on Valentine's Day, you know, and you're planning to stay in, this might be a good way to kind of pass the time. Uh, see, you can, see who can do the best date. Um, separately to that though, I think it would make a great party game. I mean, yeah. we had it up on the, the, the office computer here yeah. the other day. People and, were going crazy. Oh yeah, we had a good like seven, eight people just standing around, absolutely wetting themselves with laughter, just just having a great time. Yeah, actually good. the site went down for two hours. No, it's not true. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. But yeah, there's there's interest around this game. It, it, as you can see, like this is, a, oh, this is the end of the first level and you can see the scoring system. But it is a game that sells itself on the concept because it, it, it looks and it is very fun. Uh, obviously, yeah, we're gonna have to see the lasting appeal, something like this, but it probably isn't, you know, like, it is just a game that it's made just to be fun for a couple of nights. Maybe on double dates, that could be fun. Oh, you yeah. know, like the two couples could, you know, like test, them, test each other and maybe uh, try to see who is the best at, you know, like awkwardly joking in a, <laughs> in a chat on Tinder. Oh, some of the jokes that come up in here are just just terrible. Just terrible. Shame on you guys. Yeah. Shame yeah, on you. British humor at the worst, <laughs> actually. Really. But, yeah. so, and if you're thinking fun. those levels were looking a little bit easy, don't worry. As you progress through the game, there are much harder levels which add some fantastic new challenges to it as well. I think there's one where you're on a ship and everything's like moving side to side oh, like that wow. and shifting across the table. Yeah, so, and then there's yeah. also the, the you have to order food actually at the restaurant. Not everything is going to be on your table uh, at all times. So it, it plays with the formula a little bit mm. while you progress. So. Yeah, it's actually deeper than we were thinking at the beginning, so like... They've definitely put some yeah. effort into to keeping it interesting and keeping it fun throughout. Oh, so it's not just the same thing over and over again. This is fun, you generate the actual bio. <laughs> like yeah, that. as I said in the sayings, you can set your own bio there, you can see my lady in red achievement, which I got in the, the first nice. level. <laughs> that's how I roll. It's pretty cool. But yeah, that's it from us guys. Uh, this is, as I said, this is coming out on February the 14th on Valentine's Day. Um, so you can pick it up for you, your friend, your Valentine, whoever. Um, yeah, catch you guys next time. Ciao!